Hi guys, welcome to a new video part 2 to making a cooking simulator. In this video we're going to make an upgrades for like the player walk speed as you see those in most of cooking simulators. This one we're just going to make this walk speed upgrade. And then in other videos we'll create the rest of the upgrades after we create like a pet system we can make it increase the pet storage. So first we're going to go ahead and make our GUI in main, press the plus and insert a frame. With our frame, you can put it wherever you want, I'm doing the center, you can scale however you want, just do whatever design you want, I'm just going to make it blue, because I'm doing that style, I'm just going to use my round effect we're going to have here, actually. I'm going to insert a UI corner, so now as you can see it has nicer and cleaner corners. I'm going to name the frame to upgrades. I'm actually going to make this a little bigger. Alright, now we're going to put a title on it, so press the plus on the frame, text label. Now go into its properties, scroll down and to the index, make it 2. Then scale it across the top, and then we're gonna make the background transparency to one. I'll edit the text how you want. Doing quick the design. All right. Now we're going to add our project. Now go into your leader stats script. In this script, we're going to make our costs. So we're gonna do our local current equal instance dot new int value and player player will hide it from our tab list so nobody else can see it so it doesn't look all unorganized so script local current equals instance dot new int value parent it to player now current dot name will equal well current and current dot value will start at zero now we're going to make a maximum. Actually, I'm going to make current to just current. So now we're going to do local max will equal instance dot new int value player. Again, we're parenting it to player so it does not show in the top list. Now we're going to do max dot name equals max and max dot value equals whatever the maximum amount of upgrades you want for it to be is. So for me, I'm going to do six. Now we're done with our leader stat script. Now let's insert a button into our upgrades frame. So we'll go to the upgrades in the starter UI and then press the plus. Insert I'm going to do the text button. You can do an image button if you want to make a running guy. Make the index three. Position it where you would like. Scale it how you would like. Make a square button. Make it say what you want. Box speed. and then just design the text how you want color the background however you want it as well put a right corner we're going to make this button be called walk speed there we go we have our nice button we're going to change the background color a little bit we can actually make the button kind of like this now for the button, let's say we want to display if we have maximum or not, so we want to show like maximum or current out of maximum. Um, oops, it's the same color as the background, let's just make it a little darker. Alright, now, actually I want a little lighter, so. Now we're going to press the plus and we're going to insert a text label into the walk speed if you want to display the maximum or current then make this in next four scale it to wherever you want it to be and then make it right there and make the background transparency to one I'm going to edit the text to how I like it to look nice white and this one will say max light or curve size max we're gonna script that to show so we'll go into walk speed and go to text label. I'm just gonna rename this to current or from current to max. Press the plus, add a local script. We're gonna do while wait do local player. This will equal game dot the local player. 
so we're making a loop so it's gonna wait or not it's gonna wait zero seconds and it's gonna keep doing this over and over again we're gonna get the local player which is game not players that local player so if we put in this it's gonna type out this for us basically and we're gonna do script dot parent dot text so we're doing a script parent which is the um text label and then we're gonna make the text equal to so it's gonna be we're first gonna start off with player dot current dot value and then we're gonna do a continuation so these are two continuation signs we're gonna do um speech marks slash and then another continuation and player dot max dot value so basically we're getting the player's current value and then we're putting a slash in between it we're continuing putting a slash in between it continuing and then putting the max value now that will display their maximum so now we're going to make a toggle for this GUI so inside of our main let's add a text button put this text button where you want I will put it above my reverse button design it however you want I'm going to add a UI corner edit the text how you want and you can say upgrades just like that now I'll put a script in that button or first name it upgrades or whatever you want and then press the plus insert local script now we're going to get one of the buttons pressed so script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function so when the button is pressed it will run whatever is in between these we're going to do scripts.parent.parent.upgrades locating where the upgrades frame is and we're getting its visibility and it will equal not and then we can copy this but I'll type it out script.parent.parent.upgrades.visible so if it's not visible it will make it visible if it is visible it will make it not visible Okay. now we're going to make it so when the walk speed button is pressed it will check if the player has enough money or first, uh, no. So first, we're going to press on the walk speed, and we're going to enter a local script. Then we're going to do local player. It's game not player, but local player. Just making a quick abbreviation for the start. And now script dot parent dot mouse button one click to connect function. So when the button is pressed, it'll do whatever's in here. So first, we're going to check if the player has enough money. So above here we're going to make it cost, so local cost will equal, um, I'm going to say 150 for the start. Then we're going inside of these two, we're going to, to write if player dot leave your stats dot clicks dot value is greater than or equal to cost, then um, player dot character dot walk speed equals player dot character dot walk speed plus and then how much walk speed you want to add I'll do five so it'll be noticeable now I'm gonna go down the line then player dot leader steps dot clicks dot value equals player dot leader steps dot clicks a value and minus cost so we'll subtract it by whatever the price is and then cost equals cost times and whatever you want it to multiply by I'll do 150 for this tutorial now let's make it so it'll display how much money it is so inside of the walk speed button press the plus insert a text label we're going to size this text label first go into this index and make it 4 size this text label and put it wherever you want and put a little bit sticking out make it whatever colors you want it to be Scale the text how you want. Oops. Make it white like this. And the bold as usual. And design it how you want. And add a UI corner. And I'm going to name the text label price. Then go back into our local script inside of the button. And do script.parent.price. Actually, no. We're going to do while wait do script dot parent dot price dot text equals we're gonna do dollar sign continuation cost so what it's gonna do a dollar sign 
in the cost. Alright, now we're gonna make it so if they have maximum, then they can't go over. So we're gonna, in, in the walk speed, we're gonna add a button or a text or a script, I meant. Local script, and then in the script. So first, name the script to extra or whatever you want, something different from the local script. Then, you want to remove the default code, and you want to do local player. Player equals game not player. Local player, and then you do a wall wait. Do if player dot current dot value is greater than or equal to max player dot max dot value. Then script dot parent dot local script and disabled will equal true. Alright, then this should be our upgrades when we finished. If we didn't not or I didn't do any error, make the upgrades menu invisible, press the play button. Well, let's make sure everything is fully functional before we end off this video. Right, so we're in the game, we press the upgrades frame. As you can see, it does kind of override this, but that's just for me. As you can see 0 out of 6 because it's 0 upgrades out of 6. Then 150 up here. Now every time we click, so we're going to have to get $150. So let's get to 150 Now if we purchase this. Oh, walk speed is not a valid. Oh, so we have to get the character's human mode. My bad. So go back into the local script and walk speed. And we have to go to player.character.humanoid.walkspeed. Humanoid. So right here in this line, it should be like that, player.character.humanoid.walkspeed. Now everything should be perfectly fine. Sorry for the minor error. You will not always get things right, but I will always fix them and make sure it works for you. So now let's get, let's actually get a rebirth, so this will be quicker. Purchase a rebirth really fast. Alright. Now, let's just go purchase all right so purchase as you can see price increase so that did not increase let's just make sure current is changing oh yeah we have to make current increase this is the last mistake i apologize i apologize so player dot per dot value is player dot per dot value plus one now this should be fully working i am sorry for a little bit of a mistake now everything should work and we just get a quick rebirth and then let's go back to the upgrades frame let's get enough purchase as you can see one out of six and then 225 for the price and as you can see we don't have enough we can buy it so let's keep going until we can reach the max just uh, do a little quick just until we get and also as you can see we're walking quite a bit faster well, faster than the default character every time we get a new upgrade it's just one more upgrade left I'll show you in a future video how to remove the decimals as you can see we have max upgrades and we'll lock it pretty quick, quick and if we try and buy another upgrade it should not work as you can see we can no longer buy another upgrade because we have maxed out our upgrades if you want it to say maximum I'll show you that really quick Go into the extra script and do before the sign. You can do scripts dot parent dot price dot text equals max. All right. And now let me just demonstrate that for you. So let's just get a few rebirths. Right now let's just get a bunch of money. You can see we're walking slow. Purchase this, we're walking a bit quicker. Purchase again, and we're slowly increasing the speed. Let's just get this to maximum. Oops, we need a bit more money. And now, boom, it says max. So now our player will know if we have maximum walk speed upgrade. So we will make the saving system, and we'll make sure this will always save. I'll show you how to make more 
objects in a future video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and goodbye.